Jose in Mountain View, California. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better well. Definitely look at Mo Better. I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. And speaking of loving feelings, Jose, happy birthday. Your loving wife, Naleli, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that's such a beautiful name. And I'm sure I'm just pronouncing it in a very unbeautiful way. But your daughter, Bella, they love you very much. And they got this for you for your birthday. This is the Ray-Ban 5206, color 2479, which is the black and red. And the 52 eye size. And I'm going to cut non-prescription, transitions generation 8 gray lenses for that frame. So let me take the frame out of the packaging as Ray-Ban sends it to me. Of course, your, your hard shell Ray-Ban case. Your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. And the star of the show, the main attraction, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. And of course, this is probably going to be hard to read on the inside. But again, this is the RB5206, color 2479, which is the black red. They call it the camo red because it's got Ray-Ban written like in a camouflage emblem all the way around. 52 eye size. Now, this frame also comes in a 54. It comes in about six or eight different colors. This is the classic black and red with the silver Ray-Ban plate that is embedded into the frame on both sides. Spring hinges. Classic frame. You can't go wrong with this one. So let me pop out the original demo lenses that you'll be receiving. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program this shape into the computer so years from now, should you ever need new lenses, prescription lenses, sunglass lenses, whatever you want, I can mail them right to your home and you'll see how to pop them in. You are Secret Agent 2729. I'm going to hit the start button. Secret Agent and a stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel over the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or in this case non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. Now you get the full reimbursement from the flex card but I'm out of network um, as far as insurance goes so you'll get your out of network reimbursement now. If these were prescription lenses, I would take the lens out of the packet, put it in the lensometer, put three dots on there, which would tell me how to orient it in there. And you know what, let's, since I am a professional, just barely, um, let's go ahead and make sure these have no power whatsoever. Zero, okay. And place that on the platform. And this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. We're going to stick this onto the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back, that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. Now again, if these were prescription, I would enter the pupillary distance and the optical center height. Just like that blue cross is the geometric center of the frame. And I measure it when these are prescription, just like that, the vertical and horizontal crosshairs to make sure that is perfect in front of you. But since these are non-prescription, I can orient the lens in there and it really will not matter. The only thing I'm going to do is make sure I have it centered. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block on what will become the right lens. We're going to do the same thing for the left. Pull the lens out of the protective packet. And, ooh, did that one come with styrofoam? Did I just miss that? No, this is the special styrofoam lens. So again, same PD, same optical center height. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Again, just make sure we're using the center of the lens. And one thing I like to do, even though these are non-prescription, I'm just going to highlight on there that yeah, zero power, but these are the finished single vision aspheric airwear lenses t gen 8 transition generation 8 gy is gray of course don't worry about the abbreviations it says it right there and of course these are from essilor returning home to be cut on essilor equipment do the same thing for this one and i'm going to label this one that i use first this is going to be the right lens 
This one is going to be the left lens. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> Free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses. I don't even care if y'all don't laugh at that. I'm going to laugh at that. I don't need y'all. I laugh at my own jokes. So, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. So this is known as the tracer and the blocker. This is known as the edger. This is going to edge your lenses down from th this size to this size. Now the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I need to wake up the computer. Job ID number 2729. 2729 or as I like to call it installment 2729 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So spoiler alert, stay tuned for episode number 330 million. Something crazy is going to happen. And uh, 330 million and one. I'll be making a pair of glasses for Bella one day. So these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high index plastic or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly. Now I'm going to place the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. And I just don't know another joke to tell right then. So I'm going to hit the green button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the right side of the frame first. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape, and then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none. Since these are non-prescription lenses in a thick plastic frame, you will have no edge thickness. But I do cut very strong lenses all day long for how much? For quanto? For free. For gratis. So that's a little bit more critical with the higher powers. Now the light you see flickering in the background, that is water to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of what it's in now, the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto your lens, Jose, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. These are virtually unbreakable lenses. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material, the same material our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So think of this as permanent sunscreen, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Mountain View, California. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Transitions by Nature also has 30 to 40 percent blue light protection built into the lens. You hear about the harmful blue light emitted from today's cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and of course the number one source of blue light on the planet, the sun. It also comes with a premium scratch coating. Now, Essilor calls airwear or polycarbonate airwear because they feel it's as light as air. So, you're getting everything in one lens. So, water spraying on there, it tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. Out comes a lever. At the end of that lever is a very fast spinning disc. It is a very, very fine grit sandpaper. It's putting out doing a safety bevel. It's just smoothing out any rough edges that are left over from the cutting cycle. I only do it on the rear surface for polycarbonate lenses and plastic frames. The front lens will never protrude out, but the, and of course the back of the lens will never protrude outward. Now if these were strong lenses and actually came out the back of the frame, which they won't, it would, uh, you'd like that to open that door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then it'll melt. Okay, I'm going to pause now to give you time to laugh at that joke. Go ahead. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> so, 
But the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, I'm going to tuck the lens in at the outside corner. And I'm going to press, use in my thumbs, press down at the nasal area and it snaps right in. But as I push down, I don't want any sharp edges to rub up against your frame while I'm pressing that in there that could mar the finish of the frame. So we're going to flip that over to L. L is Latin for not right. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Chuckarama, or today I'm calling it the Jose. Hit the green start button just like before. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced again by the two white styluses this time to make sure it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side. Ding! You may now turn the page. And of course measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have no edge thickness. Look at that. Jose, you got nothing. You got no edge thickness here. You got nada. Look at that, I'm telling you. You didn't pay for extra thick lenses, so you ain't getting them. <laughs> so, although I do have a special on extra thick lenses. All right, so I'm going to use my hand approved drying method. Throw that back in there. Add to my sticker collection. No, I'm not a hoarder. Why do you say that? I am not a hoarder. This is a piece of art I'm working on. That's my sense of accomplishment pile. Now, I am a licensed optician. I went to college for this. I bet you can't even tell. But uh, this is known as, I have 21 years of experience. I've personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses in my career. So I need to do what's known as the final inspection. I'm gonna come over here and inspect the power to make sure it was written properly and we're getting zero, no power whatsoever. So, but again, I remind everyone, if you know what you're doing, you can act a fool. If you have no idea of what you're doing, you have to act professional so people have some confidence in you. Ooh, look, there's some optical sawdust, some schwarf on the edge of your lens. May the schwarf be with you. <laughs> but it's not because pretty soon some water is going to spray on there and wash it all off. You ain't even getting any schwarf, Jose. I love it when it comes off all in one piece. That's like when you clean the lint trap in the dryer and it comes off in one piece. Oh, it's going to be a good, get, good day when that happens. Say that reminds me, I need to take a bath. It is 2020, right? I set my, the, the app on my phone to remind me to take a bath in 2020. Okay, so now it's going around, getting the safety bevel. Got to be safe. You know, it's funny, during the middle of this COVID thing, everyone's saying, you know, be safe. I like to tell everyone now, stay, stay negative. <laughs> Jose, I hope you and Naleli and Bella stay negative. So, hit that button, open up the chuck, dry everything off, run my thumbnail around, make sure there's no optical sawdust on the edge of the lens. Where do, oh, here it is. Look, I, I lost your frame. Tuck that into the outside corner, using my thumbs, press down the nose, it snaps right in, take the block off, use my hand-approved drying method. Let's do the underhand scoop. Oh, three-pointer. And, again, add to my sticker collection. Ooh, wait, you know what? I think it looked better up there. Okay. I have way too much time on my hands. <laughs> so we can come down here. <laughs> wait, I'm going to move it back. Check the power. I didn't even have to move it. We're still on zero. No power. Plano, which happens to be a city in Texas, by the way. But this in the optical world, Plano just means no power. I know about no power. I've had no power since I got married. Um... Yeah, so, Jose knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I read a quote today from Abraham Lincoln that said, The woman is the only creature that I am afraid of, and I know she won't hurt me. So, I thought that was funny. But, so, when you get these in the mail, and there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. By the way, this frame, the Ray-Ban 5206, in either the 52 or 54 eye size in any color, sells for $170. And it comes complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses, or in Jose's case, non-prescription fashion lenses. The Transitions Generation 8 Gray adds $99.99 for a total of $269.99. What a loving wife to do this for you. And by the way, all of that is tax-free because I'm in a lot of people, I point that out now because a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. 
I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax collected on medical devices, so that's why I am tax-free. Now, you're going to say these are non-prescription. You're going to say, you're going to come up to me and say potato, and I'm going to say, who are you and why are you saying potato to me? <laughs> no, yeah. But these have UV protection. That is a medical benefit, so that's again why these will be tax-free. But when you get these in the mail, Jose, and there's a and there is a small chance, and free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but there's a small chance these are going to fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different, and I'll show you in just a moment. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments whether you bought glasses from them or not. So if they're loose or too tight or crooked, just go and tell the optician there, and it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly, but I'm going to get them in standard alignment, also known as the three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take my Ray-Bans off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer, the sunglasses, I took out the dark lenses and I put in my prescription transitions lenses with anti-glare. So when I go outside, just like Jose's, they're going to turn dark and look like sunglasses. But alright, let me put mine back. And the reason why I do the blue crystal, I'm almost always wearing a blue shirt with a print. That blue crystal looks good. That other crystal um, picks up on those wisdom highlights that I got coming in over my ears. But I flip this over, press down, there is no wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Again, this is the final parts in the final inspection, just to make sure that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge to make sure they're matching. If one was looser or one was tighter, I would tighten the looser one, I would loosen the tighter one until they're matching. Now, do me a favor, like this video, give me the thumbs up. You can subscribe click the bell icon to subscribe to my youtube channel you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses on twitter it's free rx lenses if you have any questions just go to the contact me page of the website you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below and i also send out not only i also send out a selfie request in every package jose i would love to have your picture on my website two pictures two selfies one with uh with these clear inside and then one with these dark outside but I also send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses so they'll last you for years I'm struggling here but for the premier microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and instructions on how to care for your case so it too will last you for years no other seller does that on the internet I am told so I field test every cleaning cloth before I ship so, Jose, when you get these in the mail and you see that wrinkle in there, you can't tell me that you can't clean your lenses because I've done it. I've seen it happen. So, but this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to turn dark. A little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now, this is important, Jose. Pay attention. All transition lenses get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they'll work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Now, the other thing is they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable. Your glasses are miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better once it cools off. So, the... Um, that's it. So as I keep talking, they're going to keep getting lighter and lighter. So again, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. So follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And Naleli and Bella, thank you so much for the purchase of your loving husband and your dad, Jose's glasses. These are the Ray-Ban 21, excuse me, 5206, color 2479, the shiny black with the red inside. This is the only Ray-Ban that has the plate. Most of them has the Ray-Ban 
written and embedded into the frame. This has the shiny plate on both temples. So again, thank you for the purchase of this frame with the transition gray lenses. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.